Hello. In this lecture, I summarize the key points of trigonometry. Trigonometry basically starts with a right triangle. Look at the right triangle in this slide. The longest side opposite the vertex right angle is called hypotenuse. When the side on the base is called adjacent, then the other side would be called opponent. Then sine, cosine, and tangent are defined based on those three sides and the angle theta between the hypotenuse and adjacent. Sine theta is equal to opponent over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent theta is equal to opponent over adjacent. You must memorize those three equations to continue to study math. I have a couple of tips to memorize. One of them is to remember Sokatoa. So means sine opponent hypotenuse. Ka means cosine adjacent hypotenuse. And toa means tangent opponent adjacent. The other way is to write initials onto the right triangle as pictured. For sine, write S onto the above vertex. For cosine, write C onto the left vertex. And for tangent, write T onto the right vertex. The common thing is that each beginning side is the denominator, and the passing or ending side is the numerator. Let's look at the example as warm-up. The triangle ABC is a right triangle. Its hypotenuse has a length 5, and the other sides have length 3 and 4. Then we have to find sine A, cosine A, and tangent A. For the trigonometries of A, the line AC must be adjacent and the line BC must be the opponent. Then sine A is opponent over hypotenuse, which is 3 over 5. Cosine A is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5. Tangent A is opponent over adjacent, which is 3 over 4. Then what about sine B, cosine B, and tangent B? For the convenience, let's split the triangle like below. Then for the trigonometries of B, the line BC must be the adjacent, and the line AC must be the opponent. So sine B is opponent over hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5. Cosine B is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 3 over 5. Tangent B is opponent over adjacent, which is 4 over 3. These are some right triangles having specific line ratios. I strongly recommend you to memorize them, because these triangles appear on various problems. Of course, the size could be doubled or tripled. But remember, each right triangle has a specific line ratio on its fixed angles. This chart is also recommended to remember. It indicates which value each trigonometry has on some specific angles. For example, sine 30 degrees is 1 over 2. Except 0 degrees and 90 degrees, the other values can be found from the right triangles on the right side. These are the right triangles I mentioned in the previous slide. The next is radians. To simply explain, the radian is the other measurement of the angle instead of degree. Its definition starts with this arc in the slide. When the radius of an arc and its arc lengths are the same, we define the angle of the arc as one radian. It just expressed as one radian or just one. 1 radian or 1 in the angle is actually equal to 1 AD over pi degrees. Then the other degrees are equal to the following. Let's take a look at some examples. Sine pi over 6 is equal to sine 30 degrees, so it is 1 over 2. Cosine pi over 4 is equal to cosine 45 degrees, so it is square root of 2 over 2. Tangent pi over 3 is equal to tangent 60 degrees, so it is square root of 3. By using radians, the arc lengths and areas can be simply translated. Suppose that an arc has a radius r, and the center angle is alpha in the angle and theta in radian. If we use the degrees, then the arc length is 2 pi r times alpha degrees over 360 degrees. But if we use the radians, then it can be translated to r times theta. The area is pi r square times alpha degrees over 360 degrees in degrees, but in radians, it becomes 1 over 2 times r square times theta, or 1 over 2 times r times l, 
where L is the arc length. Secant A is equal to 1 over cosine A. Cosecant A is equal to 1 over sine A. Cotangent A is equal to 1 over tangent A. For taking exponents to the tricks, we put the exponents onto the trig signs before the angle. The basic properties of trigonometry. Number 1. Cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1. It can be easily proved by drawing a right triangle and using Pythagorean theorem. Number 2. Tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. To prove it, try using sine theta equals opponent over hypotenuse and cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Number 3. Cosine pi over 2 minus theta equals to sine theta and sine pi over 2 minus theta equals to cosine theta. To understand this, think carefully about the previous example. Number 4. 1 plus tangent squared theta equals to second squared theta. To prove this, use the first and second property on the left side. There are more properties and topics about trigonometry. I will show them in the next video. Please hit like if you like my video today, and subscribe and set up an alarm if you want to study more about math with me. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.